Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game and CPAs channel. In today's episode, we are going to be continuing our factory and finishing it up. And honestly, I'm going to see if I can maybe even unlock some cosmetic things and make it look a little bit prettier and look more like an iron smelting factory than just this kind of block, if you will. Um, as you can tell, we also only have five floors. We need one more floor because if I recall, we have six different iron ore nodes to grab from. They all may not be pure nodes, but we're going to go ahead and get them ready as if they are um, and go from there. So the idea is finish up the factory and make it look a little bit prettier um, and go on from there. So I'm going to go ahead and get back to work on that and we will check back in as we continue to make that progress. All right, you guys, in the meantime, I'm going to actually select this obstacle clearing milestone. The reason why is because right now, the only obstacle in my way is myself, it seems. And I think this is going to hopefully help us with getting rid of some of the nature. Um, and that's going to really help collect biomass faster because, as you can tell, we are kind of running against some power issues. So if I can just collect some of these, we can go ahead and get this milestone completed. Um, then we can unlock the chainsaw. And what the chainsaw is gonna do for us is it's gonna allow us to go ahead and eliminate, again, all the nature and big clumps. I can cut down some of these trees um, and go from there and really just clean things up. So we're gonna go ahead and send this guy off with a see you later, buddy. All right, and now we've done that, we can go ahead and unlock and see what we need for the chainsaw. Chainsaw requires five reinforced iron plates. Everything else I already have, so, oh, there you go. One of my grids shut down. That was something I was worried about. Let's go ahead and craft ourselves those five reinforced iron plates, and then we can build that chainsaw, and if we just put a little bit of biomass or leaves in it, we can operate it, and again, there are some big trees in the way right here of my base. You can literally see that one inside of it, that one on the outside, and it'll give us a lot of wood, and wood is makes biomass way easier. Um, and let's see, what else did I unlock with that? I may have unlocked biofuel. Did I end up unlocking solid biofuel? I did. And that, my friends, is even better than normal biomass. So let's go ahead and just craft this. So these biofuel pellets will last so much longer than just normal biomass. Uh, I don't know what the ratios are, but it is significantly longer. So let's go ahead and handcraft some of these. And then I'll actually set up a constructor to take the biomass I make and turn it into biofuel. So right now I have this constructor turning this into biomass. If I remove this and I build another constructor, which is gonna technically require two of those reinforced iron plates, then I can technically move this biomass into biofuel. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and handcraft. You know what, I have five different machines. If I just give them each about 20 of these, that will probably be sufficient. So I should craft up to about 100, and then I'll go ahead and set up a constructor and have it start crafting the remaining amount. All right, we have our chainsaw fully operational. Let's go ahead and start trimming out some of this nature. Boom, get rid of that. We get a good amount of wood, leaves, and petals. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this. The cool thing is you can also get rid of just groups of nature so you don't have to go run around and individually pick them you just run into the middle and you remove it um and it just takes out a whole group nice and again the wood you guys the wood is really good because that is very easy and quick to turn into biomass and then solid fuel thereafter um uh, i actually forgot to turn on the power i did end up putting putting those items in that i wanted to uh the solid biofuel so uh, there's 20 in each and that should take care of that all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get on back to construction mode. So I seem to be getting a little low on the concrete and I guess one thing I could do is I could spread this into two. That's only gonna be about one and a half. Uh, there's also two more limestone deposits nearby. I'm just gonna tap into both of them. Um, let's see, what is this guy? He is 120. Okay, I can definitely split him into basically almost three different constructors and that would actually make logical sense um, so let's go ahead and do that. I, I currently have enough for two. Oh, that's unfortunate, of course. The one thing I want to always try to avoid going out and about without enough resources. All right, maybe we'll just put this guy down to two. Something like this, line him up. All right, and then we can just have him run out straight if possible. And then we will turn him into a merger. Ideally, at some point along this line. I thought I saw it. It was blue for, yeah, a split second. Perfect. There we go. Alright, that's a merger. I need a splitter on this one. Okay. 
And of course I'm out of iron. That's so funny. All right, well, we're just going to do two then. Um, oh boy, did I actually build a second one on top? Maybe that's why I ran out of iron so quick. Okay, we are quite literally... There it is. Perfect. We like perfection. Now we just got to connect it up to our power grid, which there is one right over here. Uh, it can hold one more, so let's make another power line. Make another two power lines. Perfect. All right, this should be up and operational. Let's go ahead and change this on over to our concrete mixture. Control C, Control V, and then I will get some more iron plates and see if I can go ahead and pipe it over into this guy. Um, so it is currently outputting 15 per minute, which means we could have four of them connected to one one line because again, that, that conveyor belt right there spits out 60. So let's grab that right there. And then that way I can just have them all being merged in to this one right here. Let's go ahead and bring this guy on out. Maybe to about here. All right. It'd be great if you could connect. Oh my goodness, you can connect all of a sudden? Yes, that is awesome. I love how I say things and then it turns out it is true. That just makes me seem way, way smarter than I probably am. Or way dumber, I guess. Depends on how you look at it. So, all right. So we just, I mean, that literally probably doubled our output. Uh, there is one more concrete or limestone deposit I want to go tap into. Um, it's going to require me to grab some more iron plates. There is none to be grabbed here, folks. These are constructing them and being smelted at a perfect speed, huh? Or no, these are half speed. That's correct. Well, I'm so tempted to unlock Mark II belts, but it's pointless until I get the the assembler put together, because when I have the assembler all done and ready, then we can truly start to automate the reinforced iron plates, and then from there, make things work better. What is happening? This place is shut down, isn't it? It's looking like it. Yeah, okay, so I had, I had stripped this place earlier. I do not want to take the miner in the distance, though. That is its own problem, so let's go ahead and clean up some of this. That'll give me some resources back. This is literally not powering anything anymore. Sorry, I figured hey, if I can clean this up, then maybe we can uh, get some of our goods. I think, though, some of these are screws. I think this this storage unit right here should have a bunch of screws in it. 2,500. We're going to leave that as is. That's that's actually awesome. Um, let's go ahead and not drop off flowers. Let's drop off that. Give me that. All right, perfect. How much power do we got left? Oh, I guess, no, that's not going to show me the biofuel. We're probably starting to get low. I may have to come back down here, get some more shortly. Probably, honestly, as soon as I leave, it'll probably say, probably shut down the grid. Um, but that's all right. Here's the other limestone deposit. We're going to go ahead and tap into this guy um, next. And same thing. Let's see what he is. He's normal. Okay, so that's basically just one constructor. Um, if we were to overclock it, that's, you know, we could definitely do that at some point. But right now, I would say it's just one constructor. Connect them both to power. Something like this and like that. Concrete. And instead of running that, I'm just gonna run it all the way down to here. And we're just gonna we're just gonna have a little storage container down here for him. So if you wouldn't mind, my good friend. Perfect. And it's gonna it's gonna <laughs> obviously it's not ideal looking or realistic looking, but you know what? That's alright. We haven't done that yet today in the in the game so far, so not going to start now. All right, so that should hopefully fix our concrete setup. The reason I need to do that is because I was genu genuinely getting low on concrete as I'm trying to build these extra floors um, and iron plates apparently now. So I may have to reduce it so that I'm only sending one line into the awesome sink um, as opposed to two. So let's, or sorry, all th three of those. Let's do that. How's our, oh, we got two. Let's get our coupons. All right, let's go ahead and redeem them. I even have one in here. This might be able to get us... Let's see. Hmm. Nice. I'm thinking maybe we go for the holes, or do I want to start doing some architecture? Because I do want to pretty things up here shortly. Um, and I'm thinking maybe a metal pillar set and the concrete pillar. Those look kind of good. Maybe we could run some of those. Um, can't quite do that yet. Customizer. Ooh, yeah, this unlocks a different kind of... Ooh, patterns. I don't necessarily need patterns quite yet. Do not need the cart, no matter how tempting that is. Coffee cup's really fun. All right, that's ordering parts in. 
Um, let's see, I may do walls because to be honest, I am going to want a conveyor wall. Um, that's how things are going to enter. So let's add that to cart. That costs five. I guess we're going to hold off on the coupons. And the reason why, again, is because we're going to basically have a conveyor wall. There's our shutdown. Um, where, where this is going to enter. There's going to be a conveyor wall right here. I may have to shift this over a little bit so that the conveyor wall is right here and it comes in and it splits out evenly. Um, but yeah, we're going to want to, we're going to want that because entering the factory, we want that to look clean and good. Um, let me go ahead and make some, some biomass out of the wood. It doesn't take long at all. Uh, it takes up four and it's literally two clicks. So this is something that's really quick that I can make, make use of. Um, I think that should probably be enough for now. We can do the rest later. I'm just going to go ahead and plop this right into here. So that'll spit on out for me and then we'll plop all that in. Let's see. All right, biofuel's looking really, really good. Let's go ahead. I'm guessing which one shut down. Oh, or are we consuming too much now? Nope. We're oh, we definitely are consuming too much. So I need to I need to copy and paste some of these guys. All right, let's go ahead and build some more power then. Need at least one more biomass burner. It's about all I can fit in right now. So let's do that, and then let's split these into maybe 50s. I think blocks of 50. This one's gonna be 64. We can do that. Um, let's get it about up to 50. I think that'd be good. That means we have about 12 and a half minutes of time. So that's awesome. And then these ones, they're going to need a little bit more than just the normal. We'll, we'll go ahead and bump them up a little bit more. Okay, perfect. So if we turn on the power again, hopefully that will... Oh, we are... Never mind. We are apparently needing a lot more juice. I would love, oh, so these guys, they will give me 20, so that's 40, 90, that's 100, or no, I have four of these machines, so this is, this is 120, that's 40, and how much is the maximum consistency? 170, so I need basically one more, theoretically two more of those, although I don't want to do a full two of them, if I can, if I can do without, um, let me get the power fi situation figured out, and then we will continue our build going on. So I finished everything up as far as factory wise. I have all the utilities hooked up and everything. I'm just trying to figure out the best look I want. And down there you can see I have a ramp. I, what I wanna end up doing is I want the player to come in a little bit off the ground. And then I wanna have obviously, you know, some sort of walkways that then lead to staircases on the sides. And then you go up on the staircases and there's always walkways. Um, so that way you're actually over the belts, over the splitters and everything. Um, that's kind of my, my focus right now. So right now I'm just kind of see what the look would be of this wall. Um, cause it's technically just a little off center or not off center, but it's not, not on the main floor. Um, I think it looks okay. Maybe we'll put a little top on top of it. You know, I'm thinking maybe we throw a little basic wall on top if we need to, to cap it off. Um, but this look so far is, I think it's looking pretty decent. Uh, we may have to, again, we may have to cap this off somehow with just a, I mean, a zero there may just work as well. Um, and they may, that might fix it. That could work, you know, for now especially. So I think what we're going to do next is we're just going to hopefully maybe finish all this, do all of this all around the place, um, and then try to hopefully unlock the stairway or the, the walkways um, as well as the staircase. And then I'm going to hopefully be finishing this bad boy up from a cosmetic standpoint as well. All right, you guys, honest opinions. Huh? What do you think? I'm just kidding. This is uh, it's easier to take away pieces than put them in uh, when you're down low. So I figured I would just build everything on the outside as it is, and then I can just start removing things. We're not just gonna have an a big orange box in the middle of nowhere as our factory. So we will end up changing things up. But yep, this is a good starting point though for what we want to end up doing. In fact, I think I actually want I need to double that ramp because or else it's not gonna be even and symmetrical. Um, seeing as this is a this factory is 10 by 10, so I need to have two because there's no middle. I'm actually gonna expand and add utility room and staircases on the side. Um, so that's also the next plan as well. So that's what we're gonna go start working on. But this is kind of, I guess, the beginning of the process. Okay, you guys, I probably created the coolest thing yet. I have run this line right here completely underground and it pops up right here and feeds into my system. So what I have planned is I want to be able to walk into the building. And by the way, I painted it white and put a little metal pillar updates to come, but I wanted to somehow get this first line in here without it blocking any sort of the ramp and staircase. And what I mean is, yeah, this obviously looks like it blocks it, but you know, I'm able to walk the ramp and there's not a whole, 
you know, something going through that I have to walk over or, or walk past. Um, and I want to do it without any clipping. And my goodness, we made it work. I built it so that it actually literally goes under the ground. Um, and it looks kind of cool in my opinion because it almost looks like it's literally going into an underground facility or going through some sort of underground piping and belting. Um, I think it looks great. I'm pumped about it. I think it looks really smooth. Next thing I want to do is build some walkways in here. Um, so what I want to have happen is I want you to walk and step off onto walkways. Um, so you're always, again, that, that one elevation above these, these belts um, and all of this. That way you can walk uh, through the factory and then there's going to be staircases on either corner. Not those ramps, but they're going to be staircases going up the factory so that's the plan but i'm just i'm so excited that this turned out so well i was curious as to how it was going to work i didn't think i could do it but we did and i think it looks so nice and it really blends in and it's gonna make this entryway just look that much cooler and that much better and here it is ladies and gentlemen the best that a cpa like myself could come up with um there's actually a couple secrets about this which are pretty cool um but yeah this is kind of what i was thinking um not necessarily the horizontal pieces are simply for a different, there's a different reason why they're there. Um, and that is because they are actually hiding in the middle, in, the, in this big pillar, there's actually a, a splitter. And I'm running all the conveyor belts through these metal beams. So they are, everything is hidden. The conveyor belts go in through these conveyor lifts. They actually literally go underground and then they pop up in the pillar and then they're gonna run in sideways and then go and feed into the level. So the inside is not completely 100% done. Let's see if I can fall down here and I can show you a little bit. Um, and that's just because I haven't unlocked in the awesome sink everything I wanted. So, but man, I did the white the white paint on the floor and it kind of brightens up the place. Uh, it literally makes it brighter inside, which is awesome. Um, it also, I think, painted all the buildings, which I wasn't intending on, but I just fixed or I switched the main color. But yeah, this was the idea. So inside of this, is a we have a conveyor lift and a conveyor hole and this hole would connect to a hole out here like these ones uh, these ones are connected to the ones inside the pillar so if i were to hook up this line right here to say this this would technically start moving product up this way um and so the idea is again everything is kind of hidden um and just kind of appears if you will inside the factory that was my idea um i do want to I'm not fully convinced on this entryway here quite yet because again, I do want to eventually have a ramp set up going in and whether that's a two ramp or a four ramp, I'm not sure. I think a four ramp's a little too tall, um, but a two ramp's a little too short. So that's kind of the problem I'm dealing with here um, is I want it a little bit higher than this. So I almost need a three ramp and there you guys go. You can see we are moving the ore up the pillar. So that's kind of the fun thing we have going on. So that's hidden. Um, and so I don't know, I, I still, this factory isn't a hundred percent done, but this is about as far as I could get with what I have currently with the awesome sink unlocked. Um, and I just kind of want to show you guys what I had and what my idea was, um, and the plan moving forward. So if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to leave a thumbs up, that would be appreciated. And if you haven't yet, and you want to hit the subscribe button of the channel and that notification bell, so that way you get notified when I go live or post more content like this, that would be appreciated as well. And until next time you guys maximize the deductions and pay less in taxes. Have an amazing day.